Hello everyone, this is Dr. Adel Bandak, Professor of Anatomy and Neuroscience, Mansoura University, Egypt. Uh, today I will talk about the first week of development and the main event is fertilization. Actually, the first week is characterized by four events. Of course, the first event is fertilization and the, plus, and the formation of the zygote. After formation of the zygote, then cleavage or division of the zygote to form a large number of cells and then formation of what is called the blastocyst and then beginning of implantation of the blastocyst on day six okay start by fertilization but before talking about fertilization what do we need to make a fetus or a baby we need a sperm and we need an ovum the sperm contains 23 chromosomes which are called the haploid number. The ovum also contains 23 chromosomes. When they fuse, they will form the zygote, which contains 46 chromosomes. These 46 chromosomes, 23 from the father and 23 from the mother. Start by fertilization. What is fertilization? Fertilization is the fusion of the nucleus of the sperm with the nucleus of the ovum. Then the normal site of fertilization is the lateral one-third of the uterine tube and bulla of the uterine tube here. Then we'll talk about the lifespan of the gametes, sperm and ovum. Then process of fertilization and the results of fertilization. Before talking about the fertilization, let us see how the sperm look like before fertilization. The sperm is dirty and covered with seminal fluid. Then this sperm, it has to be cleaned. And the cleaning of the sperm is performed by a process called capacitation. After capacitation, the sperm will be ready to penetrate the ovum and the penetration of the ovum is done by another reaction called the acrosome reaction. And how the ovum look like before fertilization? This is the ovum. The ovum is surrounded by three barriers. From outside inward, the first barrier is the corona radiata. The second barrier is zona pellucida, and the third barrier is the cell membrane, and the sperm has to penetrate these three barriers. First, corona radiata, then zona pellucida, then cell membrane. So again, fertilization, definition of fertilization is the fusion of the nucleus of the sperm with the nucleus of the ovum. It occurs at the lateral third of the uterine tube in the ampulla of the uterine tube. This is the normal site of fertilization. Lifespan of the gametes, they remain alive for. The sperm remains al alive in the female genital tract for 48 hours, and the ovum remains alive for 24 hours after ovulation. The process of fertilization, of course, the first process is activation of the sperms. And the activation of the sperm is done by two reactions, capacitation and the acrosome reaction. After activation of the sperm, penetration of the three oocyte barriers, and after penetration of the sperm, fusion of the male and the female pronuclei, then we'll talk about the results of fertilization. So we'll start by the first process of fertilization, which is activation of the sperm to penetrate the ovum by two reactions, capacitation, and the capacitation is simply cleaning of the sperm, and acrosome reaction, and the acrosome reaction is simply release of acrosomal enzymes. Start by capacitation. 
what is capacitation? Capacitation is cleaning of the sphere by removal of the glycoprotein coat and the seminal fluid from the sperm. This cleaning process occurs during the transport of the sperm in the female genital tract, in the vagina, in the uterus, and in the uterine tube. It occurs by secretions in the female genital tract, mainly estrogen, and it takes about five to seven hours to complete. Therefore, the sperm cannot penetrate the ovum except after seven hours. What is the importance of capacitation? Capacitation increases the energy of the sperm, it enhances the sperm motility, and it activates the acrosomal reaction. So capacitation is cleaning of the sperms. It occurs during the transport of the sperm in the female genital tract. It is caused by secretions in the female genital tract, mainly estrogen. It takes about five to seven hours to complete. And the function of capacitation is to increase energy of the sperm, to enhance sperm motility, and to activate the acrosome reaction. Then acrosome reaction. And as I said, acrosome reaction is the release of the acrosomal enzymes. What are these enzymes? It occurs, of course, at the fertilization site. What are the released enzymes? I need enzyme to penetrate corona radiata. It is hyaluronidase. So the first enzyme, hyaluronidase, for penetration of corona radiata. I need enzymes to penetrate zona pellucida. So zona lysin or acrosin and the trypsin-like substances for penetration of the nebulosa. Now we finished with the first process, activation of the sperm. The second process is actually the penetration of the ovum or the penetration of the three oocyte barriers. We need to penetrate corona radiata, zona pellucida, and the cell membrane. So first, penetration of corona radiata. This penetration of corona radiata occurs by hyaluronidase. Then penetration of zona pellucida, okay, by zona lysin or acrosine and the trypsin-like substances. Then penetration of the cell membrane. Once inside the ovum, the body and the tail of the sperm degenerate. The nucleus of the sperm enlarge to form the male prone nucleus. Again, penetration of corona radiata, penetration of zona pellucida penetration of cell membrane only one sperm enters the ovum only the sperm only one sperm fertilizes the ovum other sperms are prevented from entering the ovum by a reaction called the zona reaction so what is zona reaction zona reaction is in activation of the sperm receptor sites zona reaction prevents entrance of another sperm enter into the ovum once the first sperm entered the ovum. So, zona reaction prevents fertilization by more than one sperm. Zona reaction prevents polyspermy. This is a fetus or newborn resulting resulted from fertilization by two sperms. So, how many chromosomes in this newborn on this fetus? 23 from the ovum, 23 from one sperm, 23 from the other sperm, to 69 chromosomes. Therefore, this newborn is called triploid newborn, triple the number of the haploid number. This newborn, or this fetus, usually born dead. Now the results of fertilization. The results of fertilization of course, number one is formation of the zygote. Number two, restoration of the diploid number of chromosomes from 23 to 46. 23 from the father and 23 from the mother. And number three, determination of sex. Determination of sex. Why bearing sperm forms a male? X-bearing sperm forms a female. 
so x y and x x so determination of sex and the last one is initiation of cleavage <laughs> cleavage of the zygote cleavage is repeated mitotic divisions of the zygote to increase the number of its cells and the cells are called the blastomeres cleavage occurs during the migration of the zygote in the uterine tube to reach the uterine cavity and it reaches the zygote reaches the uterine cavity in the morula stage and the stages are two cell stage then 4, then 8, and then 16, and the 16 cell stage is called the morula, and the morula, it changes to blastocyst. So 2, 4, 8, 16, and then blastocyst. Cool fluid accumulates inside the morula to form the blastocyst. Morula formation, so this is the formation of the zygote, 2 cell stage, this is the morula. The morula is 16 cell stage. It is surrounded by zona pellucida. It is formed three days after fertilization. It enters the uterine cavity on day four. And once in the uterine cavity, fluid collects inside the morula to form blastocyst. Then the blastocyst. This is the blastocyst. It is formed by collection of fluid inside the morula, and it is formed four and a half days after fertilization. It is divided into two masses. The first mass is the blue mass. It is called the inner cell mass. And this inner cell mass is called the embryoblast. And it is called the embryoblast because it forms the embryo. And the second mass is the red one. It is the outer cell mass or trophoblast and it forms the placenta. So the blastocyst is formed of two masses, inner cell mass and outer cell mass. The inner cell mass is the embryoblast and the outer cell mass is the trophoblast. The embryoblast forms the embryo and the trophoblast forms the placenta. And thank you very much Best wishes and good luck and see you again in another video.